Good morning. I hope you're having a great day and that you had a wonderful week. Well, this Sunday, we're starting a new series called Developing the Heart of Jesus. Hmm. Where can you go in the Bible to learn more about Jesus? That's right. The New Testament. And we're actually starting in the first book of the gospel, the book of Matthew. And right before our scripture reading for today, Jesus had been going all around performing lots of miracles. But listen to what it says in Matthew chapter 9, verses 35 to 38. Jesus traveled through all the towns and villages of that area, teaching in the synagogues and announcing the good news about the kingdom. And he healed every kind of disease and illness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were confused and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. He said to his disciples, The harvest is great, but the workers are few. So pray to the Lord who is in charge of the harvest. Ask him to send more workers into his fields. Now, what do you think Jesus meant about going to the harvest? Well, the word harvest means to pick or gather ripe crops from the fields. And back in Jesus' time, they had lots of vineyards. So I have some pictures of vineyards. Here's one. Here's another one. What do you think? Would this be hard to do? To go harvest these fields? To go pick all these crops? You bet it would. It would take a lot of people working hard, wouldn't it? Well, do you think Jesus really wanted his disciples to go into the vineyards or even the wheat fields to do, to pick the crops? No, he didn't. He often used things from everyday life, things the people were familiar with, so they would understand better what he was saying. He was telling his disciples it was time for them to go out into the world and do as he had been doing. He was telling them to go from being disciples, learning from and about Jesus, to being apostles, doing like Jesus, doing the work that Jesus had been doing. So the workers are all of us, you and me. We are to go out into the world and do what Jesus has taught us to do. So we need to go out. We need to treat people with kindness. We need to be helpful. And we need to let people see that Jesus lives in our hearts. We need to be his hands and feet with the people that we meet. And we need to keep coming to church and to Sunday school so that we can be fed and we can become stronger apostles doing as Jesus did. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for Jesus. Thank you for all that he teaches us every day. Help us to be strong. Help us to be like Jesus. We need to remember to have the faith of Jesus more than faith in Jesus. Help us continue to be disciples, learning, but to move into apostleship, going out into the world and using what we have learned, doing the work of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, I hope when you go out this week, you'll think a little bit about what I've said. Are you a disciple still just learning, or are you one of the workers out in the fields, an apostle doing the work Jesus wants us to do with all the people we meet. I know you can do it. Have a terrific week, and I'll be back next Sunday.